I am Hemant Purohit. I am founder of Sumic Initiative and uh, an interdisciplinary computing and social sciences researcher at Noises Center, Wright State University, studying for PhD as well. And uh, the having this passion, uh, transforming research for social good into practice, uh, what led me to uh, work on uh, this kind of project. The focus was really how can we improve the work and the functionalities of humanitarian organization with the help of technology. As per studs, disaster response organizations and humanitarian organizations, they spend annually nearly like $150 billion in responses across the world, which is too much. And uh, then the question comes, can we help them improve uh, the processing? So with this specific focus here uh, for disaster response, uh, given the challenge, uh, the objective was, can we improve situational awareness and uh, enable uh, engagement for those organizations with the citizens efficiently? Why? Because we are seeing massive growth of mobile technology adoption, internet adoption, and social media adoption in the, both the worlds, developing as well as uh, de developed one. So having this opportunity, SOMIC was uh, created. SOMIC is an application that automatically finds important people uh, in the community to engage with. Uh, and that helps response organizations timely spread information, timely spread prioritize needs so that people can contribute uh, for that, counter rumors in the community. And unlike the existing technologies, SOMIC actually is based on scientific research that we have been doing uh, for identifying efficiently uh, important actors to engage in the community in near real time. So that's what SOMIC is all about. Um, Hemant, do you want to talk about where you are in developing your startup? Absolutely. Uh, so I would complement the third piece, actually, what Rathul and Saha said, that is um, understanding the customers uh, very well. Uh, I believe uh, for me, especially for my project, is important. It's all about information. It's all centered on data and information. So conveying that information to the end user is also a very major part of it. So right now, what I'm doing is actually I'm speaking with the people who are going to be end users that are organizations, emergency response organizations, with them. So folks of them with them, I'm trying to understand a good information visualization uh, with them. Uh, because technology, since we already researched it in the uh, in the earlier phases, so we had the sort of prototype in place already. Uh, right now, the point was how to customize that prototype so that it can be more meaningful for the end user is the focus. And uh, following, uh, being on that focus, um, I'm sit I'm actually doing coffee session, sitting with them to understand what is the uh, what would be the best ways that they would feel uh, information is good uh, because they don't have time really much time so how fast uh, they can comprehend the information quickly so understanding those information visualization at this point is what uh, my focus is and then it would be uh, the after that the next step would be then customizing the prototype with this kind of visualization and then scaling it up but technology is there, so it won't be a problem for me because prototype is in place. So. 